At the start of every new year, I get my huge pile of Liberty scraps out and attempt to make a dent in them because it feels nice to start the year with less scraps than you began with. I keep everything from tiny pieces to pieces with holes in, absolutely everything, nothing is wasted. In this video, I'm going to show you lots and lots of quick projects perfect for using up even the tiniest scraps. For this first project, I'm using old jam jars, coffee jars, so recycling them, and I'm making them into tea light holders with some ordinary PVA glue, and that's all you need. Scraps of fabric, PVA glue, old jars, and a paintbrush. This project works best with small scraps, so if your scraps aren't small enough, you can cut them down to size, and I'm just using everything and anything without giving it much thought, but you could group them together by colour if you wish. So first things first, get some PVA glue and paint it onto the surface of your jar. Then place one of your scraps onto the surface that is covered with glue and paint over it with more PVA glue. You only need a thin layer of the glue, but be sure to glue down all of the edges of the fabric and to cover it entirely. Next add another scrap overlapping the one that you've just attached and just keep working in this way adding scraps, covering them with glue but also making sure that the surface of your jar is covered with glue as well. And when it's done this is what it will look like and it just needs to be left to dry. Now you can see the top edge is a little bit uneven but that's easily fixed with a bit of rick rack or ribbon and this is what it looks like when they're finished i made quite a few and i think they turned out really nicely i just used up scrap bits of ribbon i put led tea lights inside to be extra safe and i think they look really nice because the liberty fabric is very fine the light does shine through it and you get a really nice pretty effect and I definitely will be making more of these in the future. A great way to use up scraps and also to brighten up your house on the dark January days. My next project is a really fun one, so keep watching, I've got so many to share with you. So I'd seen scrap fabric wreaths on Pinterest and I wanted to give it a go, but the only wire I had was this wire which came out of a pirate hat that belonged to my son and it just was really difficult to bend and to get into the shape that I wanted it to be but I persevered with it I really tried but for this project all you need is scraps and some sort of wire that will bend now rather than a circle I'm trying to get it into some sort of heart shape but I couldn't cut the wire either I just couldn't find my wire cutters so I had to double it round but if you've got more pliable wire and some wire cutters you'll find this a bit easier so I began by just wrapping the wire with lengths of fabric just to cover it completely because there were some sharp edges in there and I wanted them to be completely contained. And when the strip ran out I just tied another one onto it and carried on. So once it was all covered and kind of in a heart shape, it was time to add the little strips of fabric and just tie them on. It's just as simple as that. You just tie strips of fabric onto the wire frame all really closely next to each other and then trim it down. Because I was making a heart shape wreath, I went for all of the pinks and purple fabrics that I could find. This was super easy, really fun, and it used up a lot of scraps. And the beauty is, if you wanted those scraps back, you could just untie them and use them for something else. So here's what it looked like when it was done. A bit messy, a bit all over the place, but definitely a pop of Liberty colour in my sewing room. And yeah, it's kind of a heart shape. I think better wire would have made it more of a heart shape, but I quite like it. Now, in the same vein as that project, I have another heart shape project for you that I made at the beginning of 2023, and it was really popular. And it was using the Clover heart-shaped yo-yo maker, and I just gathered together all of my pink 
and red Liberty scraps, those that had tiny florals on it and I just made lots and lots of tiny little heart shaped yo-yos. These are really so easy to make, really really quick and it's super fun to pull that thread and to see it transform into a little heart. So next I stitched them all together and then I put a bit of ribbon on either end and made it into a little garland that I hang in my sewing room. Yo-yos are really fun to make and you can make them in all shapes and sizes. I'm just making lots and lots of circles at the moment, I find this a great way to just get on top of the scraps. And I really like the sort of vintage look of yo-yo projects. I'm going to make some thin out of them when I've got enough. But for now, every time I get a few scraps, I'm just making some more, collecting them in a tin, and then I'll decide what to do with them later. I'm also doing the same with one inch hexagons. I'm just making them, putting them in this tin. I'm not sure what they're going to be yet, but it's a great way to reduce your scraps. And I know I've got them there for a project when that project comes to mind. Now I've been collecting them for a few years in that tin and I often get asked about the glue, how long will it last? Well there's absolutely no problems with any of those in that tin so I can say it definitely will last at least three years, could be longer, I hope so. It's a great way to just get on top of those scraps by just making a few hexagons out of each type of fabric and then before you know it you have a lovely collection and then you can create something with it. Now I still have so many more projects to show you. This next one involves a sewing machine, some double sided fusible foam and lots of scraps. Now all I'm doing is just placing the scraps on top of the double sided fusible foam which I cut into a hexagon shape. I haven't even pressed them so I'm just sticking them down with a bit of sew line glue if they stick up a little bit. I'm just overlapping them and then I put them in my heat press but you could use an iron but I made sure I had some felt underneath so that it wouldn't stick to anything and then I just trimmed them down. I used felt for the back of some of them, I used more scraps of Liberty for the back of others and then I just trimmed it down to be three quarters of an inch bigger than the hexagon that I originally started with. So next I'm going to do some free motion quilting and then finish them off quilt as you go style and that's what my pile is looking like at the moment, still big but less than before. So for the free motion quilting I just did wiggly lines all over the place, not even at all, big, small, this way and that way, just to secure all of the pieces down and the only difficulty is just going over those edges and making sure you don't stitch the foot into it, ask me how I know, <laughs> but it really isn't too tricky and I also made a bigger piece with some leftover foam that I had where I just put strips on and I quilted this in the same way and I thought I would use this as like a mat to maybe put my sewing machine on or my overlocker, things like that. The stiletto tool is really helpful for smoothing down those edges and not getting your fingers in the way. So back to the coasters, I just wrapped them in the backing fabric, stitched this in place, this was really easy and straightforward and I think they turned out really nicely. I prefer the one back than the Liberty, I think I made the felt a bit too thick on the other ones but they're perfect coasters and they do the job. So next I got some fillable plastic baubles from Hobbycraft and I thought I'd put some scraps inside them and see if it looked nice. It was very quick to do obviously and you can open them up and take the scraps out if you decide to use them. And I thought next year I'll have a Liberty themed Christmas tree. And finally I wanted to make some sun catchers with my little boy. So we printed out the outline of a butterfly and we covered it with a product called Press and Seal and it's made by a company called Glad and it's a food wrap but it's sticky. And we just got all the tiny little scraps of Liberty and we filled in the gaps. Now the beauty of this project is you can make these sun catchers 
by just putting two pieces of this press and seal together. The paper outline is actually underneath, so we can remove that and then you've got the outline of the butterfly. And my little boy wanted me to flap it to make it look like it was flying. Then I put it in an embroidery hoop. And one of the really good things about this project is you can take it all apart and use the scraps for something else because no glue has been used. So here's another embroidery hoop that I just filled with scraps and a little one too. Now you need to use your imagination because it is not the time of year for the sun and I used my lamp to show you what it's like as the light shines through. But imagine this in the garden hanging in the trees with the sun shining or maybe in a conservatory or on a window on a sunny day. They would look really nice and then when you're fed up with them you can take it all apart and reuse everything again. It's the perfect project to do with children so grandchildren, nieces and nephews, any child in your life would really love having a go at this, playing with the pretty fabrics. My son certainly enjoyed it. So after all that, how did I do with my scraps? Well, I really, really reduced them and I actually couldn't believe afterwards how many I managed to use up. And I just have this collection of quilting cotton scraps left and all of the Liberty scraps now fit in that box, which is what it used to be like a few years ago. I still have plenty to choose from to use in my projects, which I'm really pleased about. I love using them for applique, but it feels nice to have them condensed now down into two small boxes this feels manageable and if you're looking for another project to use up your liberty scraps i have this video showing you how i made this scrappy bag using all of my liberty scraps so you can check that out here thank you so much for joining me today and i'll see you very soon take care bye bye